All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the inverse normal distribution. Um, so here's a problem. The Gordon family's electricity bill is normally distributed with a mean of $95 and a standard deviation of $23. So for this distribution, the middle, the mean, is $95. And the standard deviation, sigma, is $23. All right. So the first question says, find the electric bill amount that separates the top 1% of electric bills. So that means we're looking way up here, and we want to find an electric bill amount, an x value. We want to find an x value, an electric bill, that separates the top 1%. The top 1% would be above, above whatever that x value is. So we're looking for this area up here, this tiny area up here. And we want that area there, we want that area to be 1%, 0 0.01. That's my 1% right there. So what I need is I need the x value that separates the top 1%. Um, this table, though, this z table that we have over here, that z table actually only gives you the bottom half, or not the bottom half, but the bottom um, area. So if you are looking for the top 1%, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to look at the fact that those are complements and subtract that 0.01, that 1% from 1, 1 minus 0.01, and that'll give you 0.99. So that's the area to the left. This is what you need to look for in the table. Um, it doesn't matter what they ask for. In this table, you can only find the area to the left. So if you need the area to the right to find, for instance, the top 1%, what you do is you take your top 1%, 0 0.01, and you subtract it from 1 to get the bottom, 99%, and then you look for that number. So in the table, we're looking for the closest number to 0.99. So let's see, 0.99, closest value. Huh. Here are two values close to 0.99. Let's see. We have 0.9901 and 0.9898. This one is the closest. This one is only 0 0.0001 away from 0.99. So it's closer than this one, which is 0 0.0002 away from 0.99. So I need this z-score right here. Let's see, I have 2.3 for the ones and tenths place, and I have 3 for the hundredth place. So this seems to be 2.33. You just add these two numbers in blue, 2.33. Um, that is a z-score, though. So that z-score, z equals 2.33. That z-score is what corresponds to an area up here of 1%, 0.01 here, and a area back here of 0.99. This is a z-score. You see there on the table you have z uh, across that row and uh, on the first column z here. So these values in blue represent z-scores. We're not looking for a value from this distribution necessarily. Even though we need this value, we're looking for a value from this distribution, the distribution that's just normally distributed. We got a value from the standard normal distribution with a mean of uh, zero and a standard deviation of one. So what we need to do is we just need to convert this value from a z to an x. Now before we use this formula to go from x to z, so you would feed this function an x value and it would spit out a z value. What we have here is we have the inverse of that function. This gives us x in terms of z. All you would have to do to go from this formula to this formula is solve for x. You multiply both sides by sigma, you get z sigma, and then you add mu to both sides, you get mu plus z sigma is equal to x. So these are in essence the same equation, but one is giving us z as a function of x, the other one is giving us x as a function of z. All right, so we're going to use this formula 
and we're going to plug in the z-score that we found, and we're going to use that to find the corresponding x value that separates the top 1% of electric bills. So let's see, x is equal to mu, which is 95, plus z, well, we just found the z-score to be 2.33, 2.33, multiplied by sigma, and sigma is 23. So this is multiplied by 23. So we have 95 plus 2.33 times 23. This is the x value that we need to find, and that x value will be the x value that separates, once again, the top 1% from the bottom 99%. Let's see, that's uh, 2.33 times uh, 23 gives me 53.59, and when I add 95 to that, 95, I'm going to round this answer to the nearest dollar, and I get $149. So X is approximately $149. So that's the X value. That's the value of an electric bill that separates the top 1% from the bottom 99%, meaning 99% of all Gordon family electric bills are less than $149. Only 1% are above $149. Now let's take a look at part B here. For part B, find the electric bill amount that separates the bottom 1%. So this is slightly different. The answer for part A, was $149. $149 separates the top 1%. So only 1% of bills are higher than that. Now let's take a look at the bottom 1%. So this won't suffice anymore. Uh, those two things did actually. The mean is still 95, the middle still 95, and the standard deviation is still 23 because that's for the entire problem. And we want to find the bottom 1%. So we're down here now, and we're looking at the bottom. We're looking at this area right here. We want this area to be 1%, 0 0.01 down here. Well, in the case where you're trying to find the bottom on the left-hand side, the bottom 1%, to find that, well, we're going to still have to go through the... Uh, the whole calculation with the z-score and everything. So we're going to have to go through finding the z-score. But um, when you look up probabilities on this table, this particular table actually gives you the area to the left. And that's exactly what we're looking for. So anytime you're looking for the area to the left, you just find the value on the table itself. So we're looking for a value that's less than 95. Any value less than 95 is going to have a negative z-score. The x value probably won't be negative, but the z-score, since it's on the left of mu, which is 0, since it's on the left of 0, since it's over here, it's going to be negative. So we're looking for a negative z-score. So I'm going to go to the negative z-scores down here. They're below here. And I'm going to look for 0 0.01 in the table. 0 0.01, or the closest value to 0 0.01. And let's see, looking along this row here, let's see. I have 0 0.0102, and I have 0 0.0099. 0 0.0099 is closer. So I'm going to use this value, negative 2.33. Negative 2.33 is the z-score that I would use for this. So over here, I have a z-score of z equals negative 2.33. Remember, that's a z-score. That's on in this standard normal distribution. And I found the area to the left of that, the area to the left of this, to be 0 0.01. I looked for 0 0.01 in the middle, or the closest number to it, and then I took the z-score that corresponded to it. That z-score corresponds to a number in this distribution, and I can find that number by using this formula and the z-score I just found. So that's going to be x equals mu, which is once again 95, plus the z-score we just found, negative 2.33, so that's negative 2.33 multiplied by 
um, the standard deviation, which once again is 23, 23. So let's see. So once again, 2.33 times, negative 2.33 times 23 is negative 53.59. Uh, 0.59, but negative, and um, the mean is 95, so if we subtract that from 95, we get, let's see, 41, 41.41, so here we get that the x value we're looking for is 41 dollars. $41. So using this formula, we get that the x value that separates the bottom 1% is $41. All right. So for the second question, then, for the second question, the one we have here, uh, find the electric bill that separates the bottom 1% from the top 99%. Well, that is $41. So $41 separates the bottom 1% of electric bills. So only 1% of the electric bills are less, of the Gordon family electric bills are less than $41, but 99% are more than 41. And here's the last question. The last question is to find the 90th percentile. The 90th percentile, well, to find the 90th percentile, what you're going to do is... It's pretty much the same issue here, the same thing we've done, except it's being presented in a different way. The 90th percentile separates the bottom 90%. So whenever you see this notation here, PK, you're looking at the value that separates the bottom K percent from the top 1 minus K percent. Uh, or uh, let's see, in this case, since it's the 90th percentile, we're looking for the value that separates 90% back here, 90%, 90% back here from 10% above. So we're looking for this X value, the 90th percentile of electric bills. So we need to look at the Z table. Once again, we need to find the Z score that separates the top 10% from the bottom 90%. That's what the 90th percentile does. So let's see, 90th percentile. So we're going to be in the positive Z scores. We're going to look for the closest number to uh, 0 0.90, the 90th percentile. So let's see, closest to 0 0.90. Looking up here, I see these numbers close to 0 0.90. And here's 1.8997 and 0 0.9015, the closest one is this one here, 0.8997. That's the closest one, uh, this one right here. So we're going to look at that z-score. That z-score seems to be 1.28, 1.28. So the z-score, 1.28, separates the 90th percentile, the bottom 90% from the top 1% or 10% from the top 10%. So we're looking for 90% back here, 90%. We have to use the formula once again. So X is equal to 95, which is the mean, plus the Z score, which is 1.28 times the standard deviation, which was 23 once again. So to find this last value, we take uh, 1.28, uh, we multiply that by 23, and then we add to that the mean, which is 95, and we get 124. So 124 is the electric bill that separates the bottom 90% of electric bills from the top 10%. So it turns out that P90, the 90th percentile of electric bills, is equal to $124. $124. It's higher than 90% of the electric bills, but lower than 10%.